I was asked to uh, talk about canned meats and uh, freeze-dried meats, dehydrated meats, where you can get those. Well, Keystone is a good one. It's called KeystoneMeats.com. And you can see them here. I think you can also buy these at Walmart. But notice this is they're fairly cheap when you go right to their website. 12 28 ounce cans for $82. So that's pretty much it. Let me just see here if they're in stock. Doesn't say out of stock, so they should be in stock. And you can buy all different kinds of meats. You can buy as many as you want. You can buy the smaller cans here. Out of stock with the ground beef. Pork they have, 24 cans for $95. And again, meat gives you that protein that you need in a prepping situation. So now let's go over here to Longhorn Head to Tail Store. Now I bought meat from them and they are really great. They ship immediately and their meat tastes really good and it's grass fed. That's what I like. So they have 83 in stock, but notice it's $185 for 12 cans and they're 28 ounce cans. Now as we go down here, we can see it's certified can be no canned beef, no hormones, no steroids, no antibiotics, and grass fed. And it's a hundred percent USA product. Now Keystone, they don't tell you where it's from. So you have no idea. Maybe it's from China for all I know. But I do like that it's a hundred percent USA product in Ohio, and I do like that it's grass fed. The problem is I can buy two cases of the other one for what it costs for a case of this. But the meat was very good. Let me just see what they have. They were out of some of them. The pork out of stock. The beef we just looked at. Turkey out of stock. So it looks like all they're going to have is the beef. Very good beef, though, I have to admit. Now, another one that's very expensive is Wurtz here. And it's free Wurtz GMO free premium canned meat. And again, it's uh, farm raised in Ohio, which I like. No antibiotics or hormones added. I haven't bought from them. There are they're only a five pack here for this amount of money. So you can check them out if you want. Lehman's. Oh, I love Lehman's. It's sort of an Amish hardware store and you can get everything for off grid living here. So as you go through, there are all kinds of things that are at uh, Lehman's. But let me put shop now on the country meats. And here they have canned beef. And you can get a pack of 24. And notice uh, it's $169. So prices are more expensive than Keystone. Here's $149 for this one. And that's 28 ounces. Back order here. Hmm, that doesn't make sense. That's only, f okay, that's a case of 24. That's a case of 12. That's why. So we have the canned beef. They say somewhere that they don't know, here we go, the meat is considered all natural, minimally processed, it is unknown if the animals were grass fed or free roaming. The vendor cannot assure the meat is antibiotic free or hormone free. So I, I don't like that. But all of these canned meats, all they have basically are beef and salt in them. Just go back here. So they have canned chicken, canned pork, um, ground beef. This is different. They also have uncooked meat in the can. And it's ready to grill. Now, is this one of them? This might not be the one that's in the can. But you can buy cans of uncooked meat 
and then grill it, which is kind of interesting. Here we go, freeze-dried hamburger patties. So you can buy freeze-dried hamburger patties. You get 15 to 16 patties in a can. Let's go over here and see the canned bacon, sirloin steaks, freeze-dried sirloin steaks, 10 to 11 uncooked sirloin beef steaks per can. Um, each steak is three quarters an inch thick. They're freeze-dried, so they can be stored a long time. You're going to soak it in water or hot tap water for 40 minutes and then cook it. The longer they soak in the water, the more tender they get. So this is interesting. I haven't seen freeze-dried uncooked meat before at any of these other stores. I have not bought it, so I can't tell you anything about it. I haven't bought any meat from uh, Lehman's, but Lehman's has wonderful other products too. These are probably not canned here. Freeze-dried shrimp, I've never seen that before. Freeze-dried salmon. Pork chops, freeze-dried pork chops. So, again, these would be uncooked, I believe. Are freeze-dried. Soak in water, so they're uncooked. So, that's just very different. You can see how much they are. And all of these freeze-dried meats and canned meats are pretty expensive. But you're getting the protein, and you could maybe go with, if you buy 24 cans, try to get only one can a week you eat, and eat the rest of the stuff, the rest of your food, the rest of the time. Now, here's the Ready Store. The Ready Store has freeze-dried freeze meats, but notice they're out of stock of everything. Now, you probably, let me see if you can sign up. For when they come back in stock. Notify me when the product is back in stock. So if you want to go to the ready store and have them notify you when everything's back in stock. The problem is we're going to have a meat shortage because of the droughts out west. They can't grow the meat. They can't grow the um, grains that the cows and cattle need to eat. So we're going to have a lot of trouble with meat in the future. Now, Whirling, I've ordered from them before. And these are their canned meats. Nothing special. I mean, they're not grass-fed or anything like that. But you can see, you can get the 14-ounce or the 28-ounce. So if you get the 28-ounce and we get a 12-pack, you're talking $137. So they're all pretty much the same price. It's a family-owned business. And it doesn't really say if it's made in the U.S. or not. But they do have the beef, chicken, turkey, and pork. And again, I have ordered from them. This whirling pork, Bill and I tried it, and it was very good. It's tender. It's in its own juices. You could cut it with a fork or it actually kind of broke away. Uh, I put mine over rice. He put his on a roll and then added barbecue sauce. And we were both very pleased with the taste and everything. Now, it's 28 ounces. And here they say 14 servings per container. That means you get two ounces each. That's certainly not enough. But in a grid down situation, I think for 28 ounces, I would at least try to get four servings out of it. We'd each get seven ounces. I'd really make sure that I would really make sure that I um, measured it out and everything was measured in a um, a food shortage situation. So Whirling and Sun is very good. We enjoyed their pork. Then um, I went Brinkman's is another one. And Brinkman's here, 
beef and noodles, beef broth. You get the vegetable soup, chicken and noodles, chicken broth, chunked beef. Let's see if they have any chunked beef. Taking a minute here to uh, load for some reason. Here it is. And then if we go over here, takes a while for their site to load. They have the chunk chicken, and that's six seventy-five. What's six seventy-five? Let's say seven times uh, twelve. That'd be eighty-four dollars for a case of that. Uh, chunk pork, turkey, ham and beans. Now we tried these ham and beans also. They were very good. Uh, you got a lot of ham in there, and. Uh, they were white beans, and it was just a nice, juicy flavor. It wasn't what I was expecting. I don't know what I was expecting, but they were very good. So hearty bean soup. I wouldn't even call it a bean soup. Quarter of a pound of lean ham and navy beans. And it, it, I have to admit, it was very good. Surprisingly good. Mainly because I wasn't sure what it was going to be. I mean, I was thinking like pork and beans or something, but it wasn't. It was just plain navy beans with the ham, and it was just juicy. And then we have the turkey broth and the white meat turkey. And I'm just clicking on a few of these to see if they're sold out or not. But Brinkman's is a good place to buy things. Again, they're all about the same price. Let's see, if we're talking $7 times 12, it'd be $84 for a case of 12. Another one is Yoder's, and Yoder's is at the MRE Depot. Problem with Yoder's is they're always sold out, and they have canned bacon, which most people don't have. And we have all of these different turkey chunks. They're all pretty much the same. Again, prices vary. This one is $130 for 12. And back in um, Brinkman's, it was probably $80, $90 for 12. But if we click on any of these, you'll see... Uh, this one, oh, this is in stock. Usually bacon is not in stock. Uh, 12 cans, $214. Bacon is always more expensive. Let's see if they have any canned pork. Yes. Well, you see now that's $130 for 12 cans. So they, they are in stock. I'm surprised. The last time I checked, things were out of stock here. So this is the MRE Depot that has Yoder's. Yoder's is a very good one. Then you can get Augusta Farms. And Augusta Farms is on Amazon, eBay, Sam's Club, uh, Bass Pro Shop. Now, they don't always have meat. You can check it out. Well, I guess we can just go here and see if they have any meat. They have breakfast and lunch, but hard to find meat sometimes in Augusta Farms. And then Legacy Food Storage also has meat, freeze-dried meat, as opposed to dehydrated. The others were dehydrated, but sold out, sold out, sold out. Here's a, This has freeze-dried beef plus the entrees instead of just the beef. Like these would have been just the chicken dices. And they're all sold out here. What all the ones am I missing? Um, let's see. My Patriot Supply. My Patriot Supply does have meat. Here's real meat for $227. And this is, let's see if it's freeze-dried or um, dehydrated. Uh, protein is critical. It's in resealable, heavy-duty four-layer pouches. They last 30 years. So what's in the mega protein? Freeze-dried beef, freeze-dried chicken, beans. Okay, so it's not strictly just meat. The individual packages contain 88 servings and will last up to 30 years. So you would have to hydrate these and then put them in whatever you're making. 
just say if they have just plain here's just freeze-dried chicken uh, 24 servings so that's not a lot six pack 24 servings last 30 years each one is 14 grams so you might want to look at this the uh, my patriot supply and we have lehman's and mountain house you can go to mountain house here mountain house ground beef and this is from ebay so you'd have to make sure it's a trusted seller on ebay but if it's unopened it's probably okay so there are some various places where you can buy meat in a can now when you buy the canned meat the difference is that it's meat that they take raw cook it in the can in its own juices and then when you open it it's very tender and it tastes really good now the freeze-dried meat again you're going to have to rehydrate it they take it and they freeze dry it and the dehydrated meats again you're going to have to rehydrate them also so and i've never tried the freeze dried or the dehydrated to be able to tell you how they taste so here is a list of all the various websites i spoke about today so in case you didn't get them and you didn't want to go back through the video they're right here all right now if you have any tips or ideas or anything we can use or what we should watch out for or the mistakes you made be sure to let us know in the comments and also if you want us to cover any aspect of prepping leave that in the comments too but please subscribe